following a roadblock in the distribution of the Pfizer vaccine due to decreased supplies, national efforts today were revved up as a shipment made its way to the capital. Midday Thursday, senior officials from the Pan American Health Organization and the Ministry of Health and Wellness converged on the tarmac of the Linden Pimling International Airport to receive a further installment of the Pfizer vaccination. Paho Country Representative Dr. Aldana Boyson explains. Today, the Bahamas receives its fourth batch of COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX facility. This is 57,330 doses of Pfizer. And Paho has been able to assist with the delivery of these much needed doses. It was exactly one week to the day that officials discontinued issuing a first dose of the Pfizer vaccine as supplies were then limited. Boyson noted that Paho will continue assisting the country with supplies through the Paho Revolving Fund. This, she explains, will complement COVAX and other international vaccine donations as challenges globally remain. The Bahamas vaccination program has been doing an excellent job of vaccine rollout as they become available. The main challenge to the program has been limited vaccine, access to vaccines at times. And that's because the global demand still outstrips supply. Boyson noted that three of the six WHO-approved emergency use listing are available in country. These include Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca. The efficacy of each, according to Boyson, has been proven. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a one-shot vaccine. You only need one. The Pfizer that you have here today in AstraZeneca requires two doses for full vaccination. But regardless of what you may have seen on social media, they are all safe and effective. Minister of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darville, says this latest donation is appreciated and will assist in the local fight against COVID-19. These vaccines are absolutely essential for our vaccination program. And we have people throughout our family islands just waiting for the doses to arrive. We are pleased that they're here today. And you will see very shortly, we will begin to boost up and bump up our, our amount of vaccinations at our various centers. The health minister also adding that Pfizer has surfaced as the vaccine of choice by many. This, he says, will assist in the continued fight to save lives. So the program was scaled back a little bit because we needed to have the vaccines on ground. They're here, they will be stored effectively, and you will begin to see even a greater rollout because the appetite and the demand for vaccines, and particularly Pfizer, is definitely on the rise. As to the timeline, Dr. Darvel expects a rollout as soon as Friday, but added that demand determines the destination of the doses. He also explained the need for further national campaigns. So the ministry uh, is definitely now in full gear to begin the necessary educational program so our people can be able to decipher what is true, what is fake news, and to make an informed decision. If you missed anything, we've got you covered. Subscribe to our ZNS Network YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives, and much more.